I feel really bad. I left out two fucking ingredients. This is part two of the Hungarian style chimichangas. <sighs> Can't believe I forgot this. And it's in the five quart saucepan. It's nonstick, okay? So you put the lid. You leave the lid off when it's done, when it's bubbling. Shut it off. Stir it up. Now wait a little bit and stir it up. You know, it might burn a little bit on the bottom, whatever, and stir it up. And we let it sit for a little bit, you know, just stuff that burns up on that will eventually break loose. You know, it don't take that long to cook. You know. It don't take that long. Good 45 minutes, you know. You've done hamburger and sauce. But this is the sauce you use. So I want you all to get this right. Okay. Sprinkly salsa, you know. Whole bottle. Whole bottle. Did you see how much it was? How much was it? Four pounds, six ounces. Seventy ounces. Okay. Check this out. I put this in there too. My buddy, Mike Nelson, told me to get this shit. He's gonna kick you in the fucking boo boo. Alright. I dumped this in there. And then I noticed that there's a little bit left. A little bit left. And it boop, boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how hot it is. But, you know, no, five quart, six quart, I know, it's a big kettle, you know, it's a photo. Every time I do it, it's full. See that ruffles, potato chips with some cheese here. And I'm a big pussy. But, you know, I was looking for Tabasco sauce, but maybe there's more here than I need anyways. I just, uh, I'm going to show you how this stuff is really dangerously hot. I've done this already. Only one time. So I used it. You know, I didn't completely a whole bottle. I didn't dump it in there and chimmy telling it. Yeah. There we go. That's the word. Just enough. That's enough. That's like this. That's it. Chip, chip, chip. Chip, 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 chip. Shake it out, shake it up, ooh, ooh, shake it up. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It. Yeah, let's try it out.
I'm gonna toss it down. Uh huh. Uh huh. Toss down. Uh huh. Uh huh. Are you hung up? Motherfucker. This is hot. It ain't. Let's see. I'm done. I'm setting a sweat. It takes a little while when you stop. Ooh. Uh huh. You see me talking to me good. Uh huh. You see me me good. Uh huh. Cheese takes away the bumps. Uh huh. Eh ha! Oh shit, my fucking sweat. My body makes nothing but right. He said that he tried some once before and uh, he still got the bottle. He says every year it seems to get hotter. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh my god. 
Bam. Oh my god. I'm hyperventilating. Oh, I to eat them Jimmy Changas. Yeah, I want more. <laughs> want some more? Trust me, they won't go to waste. They will eat them because they do that good. But they don't know when they're done eating it. The after effects. See, my mouth is all chopped up right now from the chips. See, that's what's going to happen when you eat them chimichangas. They're crispy and they're deep fried. Give me the key. <laughs> you can warm them up in the oven. Yeah. De I recommend that I uh, defrost it the day before. If you're going to take chimichangas to work, if you're going to leave it in the freezer or whatever, you know, defrost them the day before. You know, take, like, oh, I'm going to have chimichangas tomorrow, so I'll take two or three out, you know, for tomorrow or the next day, you know. Because they can stay in your refrigerator for a couple of days, five days. That's the rule, I guess. But they won't even be there that long. These motherfuckers are so good. Like I said, they be fighting over the last three. I got three left, and they're fighting over them. Uh, I'm going to make up like 46, maybe 48 of them. That big kettle, I think it's a six quart kettle. So I believe I can make 60, no, 46 chimichangas. We did the mathematics before. Remember that? Let's see. We'll probably roll it down in here. Uh, mathematics, come on, where is it? Oh, right there. Yeah, right here. Oh. 8 times 3 is 24. Okay. And then add 20. Okay. Add 20. Equals 44. Yeah. We have two packages of 10, three packages of 8. So I'm going to have 44 Jimmy Changas. Bada boom, bada bing. Fattest guy in the room. Yeah. Subscribe. Hey, yo. You want a chimichanga? Subscribe. Carl Kish. Subscribe. Give a comment. Y'all in the area or whatever. Let me know. Email me. Whatever. Well, I notice whenever somebody somebody uh, subscribes, it's, it goes on my email. Uh, so when you subscribe on your email, or whatever, leave a message. You know, hey, I tried some of them chimichangas. We, you know, you know, come get some. Come send you some. I don't know if I can send them in the mail. Oh, he sends shit like that. Food in the mail? Yeah, they do it all the time. Federal Express, right? If anything, they're worth coming to get. So y'all know where I live. Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Ask anybody. I'm going to make Fox Lake, Wisconsin famous. Watch. I already know it. I can, I'm going to make this town famous. This is where Crazy Car lives. Where is he there? He lives right there. Upstairs. Ring his doorbell. Yeah, because I come to get my chimichanga. Actually, I'm going to buy them all from him. I'm going to buy every chimichanga he's got. <laughs> my bucks age. You didn't hear that from me. <laughs> but it's well worth it. You know? It costs me a lot of money. Uh, over $130. Make all them chimichangas. Yeah, I ain't bullshitting you. You had to do the fucking multiple, you know. 
just for the meat alone was 28 bucks for the fucking cheese. You believe the fucking cheese? Eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks. Eight bucks a pound. Uh, six pounds. That's just the cheese. And then the shells. Oh my God, the shells and the toothpicks. And the peppers. Oh my God, the peppers are expensive. And the onion, the white onion. The sauce. Yeah, about $132 cost me. So I think five bucks a chimichanga would be a good deal. Yeah. Leave a comment. All right? Carl Kish, subscribe. Bye.